Okay, so here we have my 1983 K24x4 Chevy Suburban with a 6.2 liter diesel engine in it. Um, it's not the prettiest thing to look at, but it ain't too bad. Inside the wheel wells, it's pretty clean. Got we are rust grown in there, no rust down in these front corners. Camera would focus on it, there we go. Um, I just got pulled back. Done some shock repair work to it. Attach that back up in there. Um, it did, I did put an undercoating on it, so the frame and stuff I go down underneath here. It's pretty clean. Um, there's no real rust up in there. Exhaust pipe's a little rusty, but that's about it. Um, I have a new... Uh, drive shaft in there, which you can see right there. It's painted black. Um, so here's the the bad rust is in these back corners. You get it right down in there. You got a little bit starting up here on the top of the tire, a wheel well. Um, you got this back here. Uh, I got a little crack in the glass right there, but um, I have a, a, a replacement piece for that. I just had, haven't put it in yet. Um, yeah, and you get that little, that little hole right there, but this side's a little bit better um, than the other side. Um, it's clean in there. The tires are all right. Um, yeah, a little bit right over there, but not that much. Uh, considering the age, it's not too bad. It's got 140, 140 something thousand, 45. Let's take a look. It is 146,000. Oh, it's 147, just about to roll over. Um. It's kind of cold out this morning, and fortunately all the glow plugs don't work, so it can be a little tough to start. Wait for the glow plug light to go out. Better press your foot on the gas just a little bit and just keep cranking it. Mm, lost it there. So it does start up. Um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's a little bit of, a little bit of smoke out there, um, but it, it clears right up. Uh, in fact, I don't know if I can film the mirror. I don't see any smoke coming out back there. Um, so the interior is all right. I got a bunch of stuff in here, but. Uh, I just gotta clean out. Uh, the only thing is that back seat, I don't know what happened there. It's been like that since I bought the truck. Um, and there's that crack in the glass back there. But it isn't It isn't too bad. So, um, yeah, it's got the, the four wheel drive right down there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it on, um, cause I have manual hubs, so. Um, but it does work, I have used it in many snowstorms. Um, and this thing missed, uh, we had a half a foot of snow on the ground out at like 1.30 in the morning one time. And I just went through it, didn't have any problems. One of a couple of steep hills. Um, it didn't slip at all. It was, uh, it's a great truck. Um, I really don't want to get rid of it, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta do what you don't want to do. So, um, let's see what we can, record here. As you can see all the gauges work. I don't know, if it, I don't know how well this camera's picking that up because the lighting appears to be pretty bad. Um, the speedometer works. The heat works as well, but it hasn't heated up yet, so it'll just be cold air. Um, so yeah, 
Um, it's the 6.2 liter diesel. Still runs good. Um, only uh, real problem with it is there's this uh, vibration on the highway when you go about 65 and higher speeds. I haven't been able to figure out what it is. It's done it since I bought the truck a year ago. Um, and I've driven this thing on the highway quite a bit, so I really don't know what it is. Um, so let's merge onto the highway here. So here we are back in the Suburban. Uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, CB radio does work. Um, the PA does work. I don't know how to actually show that, but um, that does work. All you gotta do is talk into the uh, microphone over there. Um, it does have the rear AC unit, the blower works and everything. Um, it's right back over there, that thing. I don't, I don't know if the AC is still working. I had it recharged over the summer. Um, and the clutch still does engage, so the AC should work. It's a little too cold, I'd go to test it. Uh, the blower and everything up here works, but the heat, um, I don't know if the camera's picking that sound up, the blower on, but uh, yeah, so that works. Um, radio here. I got some 80s music in here to suit the uh, 1983 Suburban. Yeah, whatever this is. Yeah, Mr. Roboto. Um, so that all works and everything, so let's go open up the hood um, take a look. Filter. That's the original style, not the uh, not the newer one. So the water and fuel sensors in the tank, not up here. Um, let's see if it's got any blow by. I think it's got a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a a tiny, tiny bit of blow by, a real small amount. I can I can barely see it myself. Um, so it is what it is. It's got a master cylinder was replaced before I bought the truck a year ago. Um, so yeah, um, it's got the no emissions control. Underneath the air cleaner there is a no emissions controller. So yeah, it is what it is. It's an older truck. So if you're interested, uh, my contact info is in the in the description of the video. Uh, so just, or you can put a comment or anything. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, send me an email or give me a call. All right, thanks for looking.